Between 1943 and 1974, Cantor David Putterman of New York's Park Avenue Synagogue commissioned new compositions for many of his era's greatest composers, including Leonard Bernstein, Kurt Weill, Darius Mio, Roy Harris, and Lucas Foss. On December 3rd, 1945, Cantor Putterman sent a letter to William Grant Still, commissioning him to compose something for the Park Avenue Synagogue service. Often referred to as the Dean of Afro-American Composers, Still was the first African American to conduct a major American symphony orchestra, the first to have a symphony, his first symphony, performed by a leading orchestra, the first to have an opera performed by a major opera company, and the first to have an opera performed on national television. On December 7, 1945, the composer wrote this letter to Cantor Putterman. For many years, I have tried to make everything I do, musically or otherwise, point to the ideal of interracial understanding. It has seemed to me that this is so vital just now, so timely and necessary to the life we must live in the world of the future, that it appeals to me as being an important part of religion, too. Nothing can be more godly than the attainment of the true brotherhood of man. The composer selected Psalm 29, which is part of the Friday night service, and it was premiered at the synagogue on May 10th, 1946. of my 